Tonight, rebuilding in the midst of COVID-19 after a tornado. Donaldson Christian Academy hitting a milestone tonight with the reopening of their football field. But the work is far from over. News Force Cameron Taylor with a look at the progress they've made since the tornado hit. Friday night lights come with a new meaning for Donaldson Christian Academy. It means a lot. I think as a community, um, it means a lot to the team. Kia Lewis has twin boys on the team. It's their first home football game since a tornado hit in March. But they've really shown to be DCA strong. First down, do it again. The tornado lifted the lifted that roof so much that you could just see the blue sky. Headmaster Keith Singer telling us about the tornado's destruction to the school. In all, it caused about $15 million worth of damage. Your initial thought is you're a little bit in shock and for most people, the initial impression was tears. This was the hardest hit area of the school. It housed pre-K through second grade. The plans the school has in store are already underway. This is a space that was a disaster, <laughs> literally, and you can see that it's been really built back. What used to be two classrooms is now a room for the band. You can hardly tell a tornado came through here. Rebuilding efforts like this will come in stages, each having their special moments. It's another step in, in a great direction. Right, so it's another step of us being together as a community. Faith providing strength over the past six months, not just for the community, but also for the students. They can look back on and say, you know, that was a difficult time and certainly some amazing challenges that we had to walk through as a community. But they can look back and say, but God showed up in incredible ways. I think as a parent, you feel great now that um, you're seeing all of the things coming together. Cameron Taylor, News 4 Nashville. And the headmaster tells us he hopes campus will be entirely rebuilt by next school year. Thank you, Cameron Taylor, tonight.